once you leave the big cities of South Carolina, it's remote, it's rural, and it's far removed from most of the amenities that are available in the larger cities. South Carolina is a cognitive healthcare desert because it lacks resources in the rural communities to support patients, such as neurologists, advanced diagnostic health care, as well as advanced caregiver support. The USC Brain Health Network is a network of clinics about the state that provide advanced cognitive assessment and treatment recommendations for patients in our rural communities. Addressing cognitive care needs in South Carolina can be a very lengthy process. And this is a huge gap in care because during this time, the patient has increasing cognitive difficulty and the family member may be having increasing burden. Through partnerships with large healthcare organizations such as Prisma Health, Hope Health, and Lexington Medical Center, we have been able to utilize their clinic spaces to provide services to patients. As a family medicine physician, I've been delivering babies, been taking care of kids as they grow up, been watching people develop hypertension, diabetes, and so I deal with many families go through dementia. I refer my patients to the USC Brain Health Network Clinic anytime we have concern for kind of impairment. With this partnership, I'm able to refer more quickly to this other service and use more of my appointment times for other primary care activities. After we receive a referral from the primary care physician for a patient, we initiate our three appointment process. The first appointment is a telephone interview conducted by one of our speech language pathologists. This interview is so important because it gives the patient and family member time to truly express their needs, concerns, and goals. During the second appointment, we bring them in so that we can administer a cognitive screening. This is a battery of assessments that assesses different domains of cognitive functioning. During the third and final visit, one of our brain health care providers reviews pertinent imaging, lab values, and the cognitive assessment results and tailors a comprehensive care plan to that patient's needs. What is so unique about our care planning process is that we truly not only listen, but we value the patient and family members' wants, needs, and goals. The community health care workers play a crucial role in our process to ensure that the patients feel supported as they are being connected to resources, as this can be such a complex process when navigating a confusing health care system. We're the USC Brain Health Community Health Workers. And we have an integral role at USC Brain Health. We spend a lot of time in our communities connecting organizations and people. We contribute really meaningful resources to the patient care plan. As a community health worker, we're also an essential part of the communities we work and live in. We participate at community fairs, speak at events, and get to know people one-on-one. We really have very busy jobs and we love it. So it's truly important for us to establish a network that allows for primary care doctors, neurologists, and community health workers to work together and to ensure that patients are seen quickly. They receive the care they need. The USC Brain Health initiative was created based on this need. We have created a partnership between the University of South Carolina and healthcare systems in the region to ensure that their primary care doctors, their neurologists, their social workers, and community health uh, workers within our team work together so that we can defragment the care and make sure that the care is done in a timely manner in accordance with uh, the best standards. What's next for the USC Brain Health is expansion of clinics into additional areas of the state where the needs continue to exist and development of other partnerships that are going to help patients and caregivers throughout the state. So the new USC Brain Health Center that will be opening in 2026 will be a state-of-the-art facility. It will contain diagnostics with a 3T and 7T MRI, as well as increased capabilities for infusion therapy and diagnostic therapy. It will also be a hub for additional resources for clinical trials and research. What excites me the most is that we're at a time right now in medicine where the technologies are improving, we're having new drugs that are becoming available, diagnostic therapies are coming available, and we're able to implement this for our patients. Our partnerships that we develop with Prisma Health, Lexington Medical Center, and Hope Health are gonna help us expand those diagnostic and treatment capabilities throughout the state.
Thanks for watching this AAN TV feature. Now, an important disclaimer. Content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.